This time around for October 2022, it's only one item that did not see an increase. What that means is that all 306 items saw an increase. So there are two things. One is whether the increases are happening, and from the data, clearly increases are happening. And the second one is the extent of the increases and the impact on the consumer price index given the weights. So 306 items are increasing, but out of these 306 items, we try to look at the top 20 um, items that saw the highest change. And we all know or expect that of this top 20, we are likely to find diesel and um, petrol as, as part of it. And indeed, diesel and petrol saw the highest increase. But if you go through the items, their contribution are 0.2% and 1.4%. In terms of how the exchange rate is impacting on this, two things that you need to um, keep in mind is what are the pass through effects that we always talk about? How many of these items see the pass through effects? And the timing for these pass through effects. So it's possible that the impact of the exchange rate will linger on for X number of months, and the definition or the determination of the X number of months is dependent on the policies that are going to come up in the next two months or three months, and whether they're going to allow exchange rate to have its full effect or it's going to slow it down. So whether we fit or not, one depends on what has happened, the items that are going to be affected by the price increases that we've seen from a petrol, a diesel perspective, and the length of time that it's going to take, whether it's short term, it's long term, or there's a large effect, and thirdly, the effect of other policies that are going to come to you. This is fairly related to the second question as whether policymakers are listening or not. I mean, we, we, we are still engaging as a government institution with all the government um, agencies. Whatever we are sharing here, we are sharing it in much detail with um, the policy makers. As to whether they are doing exactly what we expect, and that remit is not for GSS because other factors will always have to be taken into consideration from the government ministry's perspective to say that we fully can address these recommendations or otherwise. So this is the way we are engaging with other government um, agencies on how these numbers should inform and policy. So these are the three disaggregations that we have um, under by 3.2 percentage points or Sunday, September, now year on year inflation is at 37.2 percent. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, if you have 13 divisions here, yeah, they calculate the inflation rate now. Go ahead and contribute more to inflation rate. Damn 13 divisions, it be new food and non alcoholic beverages. If you are about housing, water, electricity, and gas, and other foods, now about transport, other insurance, and financial services. Now, contribution of food to overall food inflation 40.4%. Now, 47%. Now, 47%. It is food, transport, and housing, and all contribution up to three quarters of overall inflation. Hey, now, if they ban other policies are up in the area of food, housing, um, water, electricity, and gas, and transport. I'm aware of that. Transport needs na even the whole diesel, na petrol. One man will do on a year on year basis. If your top 20 items are one man will do um, over the one year period, that is between October 2021 and October 2022, one two items are what they can hear. Petrol uh, and fuel on a man model. Yes, you eat on a month on month basis, so I eat on a month on month uh, on a month on month basis. And overall, it's mm -hmm. now at 2.7 percent. That is between September 2022 and October 2022. Yeah, the eight to two of August 2022, September 2022, and on a month on month inflation, or at 2.0 now. You know, the percentage point difference is 0.7 percent. Um, <laughs>
Thank you for watching Nation One TV. Kindly subscribe for more news updates.